SCP-2703 Object Class, Euclid Special Containment Procedures, Mobile Task Forces Zeta-16-01, 02 and 03, respectively referred to as Newspapers Boys, Gear List and Restraining Orders, have been organized with the purpose of locating the different manifestations of SCP-2703. MTF Zeta-16-01 is to confiscate all newspapers containing instances of SCP-2703. The newspapers are to be held in a level 2 document locker at Site-98, MTF Zeta-16-02 is to track and delete instances of SCP-2703 found in advertisements websites. Websites domains with continued manifestations of SCP-2703 are to be blocked from all major internet service providers, MTF Zeta-16-03 is to erase instances of SCP-2703 written on public restroom doors. Locations with continued manifestations of SCP-2703 are to be bought by a foundation front company and designed as provisional Site-98X, civilians coming in contact with SCP-2703 are to be administered Class C amnestics. During testing, a minimum of one foundation-owned restaurant is to be available in the area of Manchester, update, as of 2017 MTF Zeta-16-01 and-02 have been disbanded. MTF Zeta-16-03 is to erase instances of SCP-2703 present in women's public restrooms, TTT, description, SCP-2703 is the message for a good time call, 092-791-697-518-2 manifesting on newspaper announcements, advertisements websites, and on public restroom doors in the city of Manchester, United Kingdom, should an individual, referred to as the subject, call the number on a telephone of any kind after reading SCP-2703, an entity, referred to as SCP-2703-1, will manifest within 2-2. 5 hours, usually 3 meters in front of the subject. This effect is triggered only if the subjects are aware of the literal meaning of the message, and if they have read an original instance of SCP-2703. Copies and photographs of SCP-2703 do not display its anomalous properties, SCP-2703-1 is a triple digitigrade avian creature, similar to an Eurasian eagle owl, buivo buivo, possessing elongated caprine horns and leporine ears, standing 1.77 m tall. SCP-2703-1 possesses five tentacle-like appendages of adjustable length, located on its back. Each appendage is of different color, red, pink, yellow, blue, and green, and is safe for human consumption 1. Tests confirmed that the blood of subjects having eaten SCP-2703-1's appendages contained high levels of serotonin and dopamine, SCP-2703-1 has thus far been fluent in every language presented to it, but communicates solely with the subject. SCP-2703-1's favorite method of communication is by singing in a mezzo-soprano voice, but it will stop if asked to. Despite referring to itself as Countess of Folas, Duchess of Fatima and Marquette of Despria, SCP-2703-1 equally responds to any given name, SCP-2703-1's only apparent goal is to entertain the subjects with pleasurable recreational activities, such as attending theatrical performances. SCP-2703-1 does so by teleporting the subjects and itself in a location chosen by the subjects. This effect is limited only to theaters, movie theaters, restaurants, and pubs. Following a 24 hours period, SCP-2703-1 will demanifest, after thanking the subjects with a 50 second long song performed in an operatic style, where it displays its gratitude towards them. However, should the subject ask it politely to leave before the 24 hour lapse, SCP-2703-1 will demanifest following a 20 seconds song, Addendum 2703-1, the following are excerpts from Testing Logs 2703-11A to D, Testing Log 2703-11A, 2017-slash-slash, Subject, SD-6053, Male, 
39, SCP-2703-1, Procedure, D-6053 was made aware of SCP-2703-1's nature. Upon manifestation, D-6053 was ordered to ask SCP-2703-1 to teleport him to Redacted, a Foundation Front restaurant. An area of 100 square meters was evacuated, results, D-6053 and SCP-2703-1 talked for one hour about various topics, such as fate and the meaning of love. D-6053 ordered roasted beef, while SCP-2703-1 ordered 2 kilograms of raw tuna, thunness. D-6053 was then ordered to politely ask it to leave. Following the demanifestation event, a total of 290 pounds and 97 pence materialized within the restaurant's cash register. Analysis, SCP-2703-1's ability to materialize currency was unknown before testing log 2703-11A. Previous testing showed that this was, in fact, the first time it used this ability. Further research is ongoing Dr. N. Testing log 2703-11B. 2017 slash slash subject sd6175 male 27 scp2703-1 procedure testing was done to determine in what circumstances scp2703-1 materializes the currency the procedure was the same as in testing log 2703-11a results despite being made aware of scp2703-1's nature D6175 screamed in terror upon SCP-2703-1's manifestation. SCP-2703-1 dematerialized shortly after. Testing was aborted, analysis, it is to be noted that SCP-2703-1 showed signs of great distress before dematerializing. Future testing is to be done with less impressionable personnel. Dr. N. Testing log 2703-11C, 2017-/ subject, SD6342, male, 46, SCP-2703-1, procedure, D6342 was made aware of SCP-2703-1's nature, and was ordered to not scream upon its manifestation. The procedure was otherwise the same as the previous experiments, results. SCP-2703-1 materialized 7 hours after, instead of the usual 2 to 5 hours. SCP-2703-1 talked with a monotone voice and refused to eat anything. SCP-2703-1 dematerialized without warning 25 minutes after, analysis, SCP-2703-1 was completely indifferent during the whole testing. I am not sure but I think it just got depressed. Dr. N. Testing Log 2703-11D, 2017-/. Subject, SD6471, Female, 26, SCP-2703-1, Procedure, The procedure was the same as the previous experiments, Results, SCP-2703-1 talked with D-6471 about various topics, singing in a mezzo-soprano voice, ordering 10 kilograms of various feline meats. When D-6471 was ordered to politely ask it to leave, SCP-2703-1 asked D-6471 to embrace it before leaving. D-6471 was ordered to embrace the entity. Following the demanifestation event, a total of 10,000 pounds materialized within the restaurant's cash register, analysis, SCP-2703-1 seemingly recovered from its depression. It is to be noted that SCP-2703-1 has displayed this kind of behavior to all female personnel, as seen in testing logs 2703-11E-11R Dr. N. Addendum 2703-2 notes on SCP-2703's current status, following the events depicted in testing log 2703-11D, SCP-2703's manifestations have doubled. However, 
SCP-2703 currently manifests exclusively on women's public restroom doors, and its anomalous effects are triggered exclusively by female subjects. Footnotes, 1. See Testing Log 2703-05C, where it offered D-3590 a piece of its blue appendage.